going on guys welcome back to the channel so we're just getting into a project here where i'm going to be installing this brushed esc into the mn90 here now this is the esc70 it has its own app it's got bluetooth and all that you'll be seeing that video shortly once we get it all installed but uh i figured this would be a good opportunity since this esc did not come with any connectors pre-soldered that we pull this out now this is a battery connector uh jig here and a few other things as well but uh I figured this would be a good time to show you guys this jig here. I've had it for a while, picked it up off AliExpress. They're cheap and very useful. So I'll be installing a Dean's connector here. And this has a spot for a T connector or Dean's, as well as XT60 male, female, XT90 male, female, mini T, and other wide assortment of holes here, ranging from 2.4 mil up to 10.4 mil on that side and 5.3 mil up to 8.3 millimeters on that side and i just kind of give you guys a quick demonstration how this works so you can put it on its side on edge there flat down you loosen up the adjustment screws on either side we'll throw our dean's connector in here you just line it up push it with your hand and then there you go we'll just tighten those knobs up and it's in there guys you're good and what's nice about this is it's hands-free. You put it down, you do your work, you've got both hands to do whatever you need to do with your two hands. Instead of trying to hold the connector or trying to use a helping hand, I find this works way better. So we're going to get going on here, guys. We're going to prep the wires. It's going to give you a little demonstration on how this little jig works here. And then, uh, yeah, we'll wrap this one up. By no means is this a demonstration on how to solder. I'm no expert, but uh, I get by. Now, the other things, actually, while I'm here, LEDs. Let's find the appropriate hole. There we go. You can solder up LEDs. I'll be using these little connectors here for the motors. And you just put those into the appropriate slots, and then you can uh, solder those up as well. So we'll take those out. We're going to just deal with the Dean's connector there. I'm going to get a little... Uh, flux paste on there we'll get a little solder on them and then we'll get uh get this connector soldered up to the esc all right there we go and we'll also i guess we should tin the wires as well get a little flux on them I'm really looking forward to getting this ESC installed it's uh it's not often you see especially a brushed ESC being able to be programmed and have adjustments especially through an app I'm going to get a little bit more solder onto that negative lead here. Okay, there we go. All right, guys, I've got to get some shrink tube ready here. They give you plenty in the kit that came with that ESC. I think we'll shorten that up a bit. All right, I'm gonna put it on edge like that. I'm gonna try to uh, stay out of the way so you guys can see how this works. Before I forget, drop my shrink tube on there. And the way I do it, guys, I kinda, this might not be the right way, I kinda put my uh, soldering iron in between the wire and the connector, and then once they melt up a bit here, I pull it out and then I drop wire in place and just wait for it to cool down and while it's still hot i throw the shrink tube over there and then i usually just use a see if i've got one here i do i don't have my heat gun out right now so let's get a little little flame on it there and that side's done all right 
now we'll do the negative side and that'll be it for this video guys and I got a little bit more soldering to do to do the the bullet connectors for the motor all right same thing I'm gonna do it flat this time and this is my personal preference I kind of just like to get heat on both once it starts to sizzle a bit I just pull the iron out and move the wire in place and that's done guys just drop that down get a little flame on her you can loosen the there we go just that easy guys it makes things a lot simpler when you have this jig to uh, to wire up these uh, these connectors so that's a bit for this one guys I got a bit more soldering to do I'll be using the little uh, battery jig here connector jig I just thought I'd share that with you guys just to give you a little demonstration on how easy it is to use and I'll leave links down below in the description for this guy like I said it's cheap inexpensive and very uh very useful so let's leave it at that guys if you like this video make sure you hit big thumbs up new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you head out remember don't be a stranger see you on the next one see ya